Adios. Gracias. This is the best day ever. <laughs> oh man, this road's just horrible. <laughs> it's nondescript, and it's you don't get any respite. Normally, there's those. I don't know if you've ever done it where you, it's, there's a bounce and a bounce and a bounce and a bounce, and it's not like you're just going over things. You're bouncing, you're bouncing, you're bouncing, you're bouncing. And you just keep bouncing all the time and you just like, oh, it's so tired. <laughs> I can't wait to, to get to the main road, which shouldn't be far. Then you've got this bit cratered like the moon. Uh, and you've got to try and get through it, like playing a game, uh, a video. Little downhill bit. Today, this is the best day. You might not think so, but I do. My legs ache, my foot kills. I'm super tired. Why is that the best day? Oh, wow. Amazing butterfly. Why is that the best day? Because today I get to find out about me. I get to find out whether I can push myself beyond what I think I can do. I get to find out what dark places I'll go to and I can push myself through. get things across the river <laughs> I don't know if people go across there as well or not I'd like to go for a bit of fun <laughs>
Pero en Medellín, Medellín, sí. Home Sinkling, uh -huh. eh, 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 Mister, un Mister, señor, sí. señor, uh -huh. ah, bici, bici, ah, eh, okay. casa, wow, uh -huh. dormir, okay. mm, mm, eh, casa de ciclista, casa de San ciclista. Antonio de Prado. Quick break here. It's a beautiful view. I'm trying to get better at grazing, so I'm gonna have some water, power drink, avocado, cake, and a pear. I'm terrible just for pushing on, so uh, I'll have a break again for lunch in a bit. But. I'm not sure where my lunch will be now. Peace out. Okay, there's the road down there. And then all the way up here, there's a house. How the hell do you get to that? I don't know. I wouldn't want to walk it, that's for sure. Whoa. That is a spectacular piece of work. And there's another one here.
that's where I've just come from. Up that, up that hill there, down and round. Coffee beans at the side of the road if you want some. Uh, fresh coffee, I think. <laughs> Might be wrong. Yes. I don't remember Jesus being in a car. Or the angel being in a car. I'm not sure what that's about. My take on the Bible isn't that good. But I'm not sure about that. This is nice to see. Where I'm going, 25k Medellin, 75. This is what going downhill looks like. After the day you're going uphill. Oh, hey! I'm trying to keep up with those motorbikes ahead going round the bend. I hit a big bump and the last slow me down. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Some guy just stopped me and told me I can't get this way unless I carry my bike. So we'll have a video of that in a minute. I seen this and I thought, oh no, that's why. <laughs> there's a gate. But no no. There's a bridge going across the river, I think. I hope. <laughs> Let's have a look. No, there isn't. That's where you're meant to go.
I need to lighten the load for this. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky manoeuvre, so I'm carrying bags over first. That's the scariest thing I've done so far. Man, I was shaking. Not quite finished yet.
glad I fell then, not, not while I was on it. I nearly fell while I was going across there. Oh, that was amazing. Peace out. This is the road, and that's where the bridge should have been. And that is a wide view of where I went across. I've just seen a, a bridge further up, but I think that goes to somebody's house. I went out to check it, I thought, no, don't tell me I struggled across there for that. Anyway, the road will be mine now. Peace out. So glad I've come this route now instead of going the other way through the tunnel. Got a beautiful road to myself. Amazing picturesque views. I just that was the most exciting thing so far. I don't know if you can see it as I'm going across the bridge. I'm trying to regulate my breathing. There was one part in the middle where I nearly fell and lucky there was a big stone I could step onto. It just been raining so it's extra slippy as well. Oh Ooh, what's this? What's this we says? Who are you? I'm curious. Hello. Looks like I've got to go over there. I just can't see where that road goes. That's crazy. Google's telling me to go up this path here. This should be fun. This might take me a bit longer than I expected. I'll have to have a double check and look at it. Wow. This is what I'm here for. I uh, bailed on that route. Gonna stick to this road. I was struggling just pushing it up that path. I hate it when there's people there, like, because they're, they're always saying no, you know, because their first thought is no. And I want to have a go. But I, I don't know what time I'd have got to Medi in tonight if I'd have gone that way. And I haven't got enough food to sustain that. That's that amount of energy. He's saying it's really steep, which uh, I don't know. I want to do those footpaths, but I don't know. I'm giving myself a bit of a hard time now that I didn't take the challenge. That's a great house, that isn't it? What a view! Fully razor taped up. <laughs> First time I dropped my bike, uh, I thought I'd seen something with a, I'm going to say a toucan, but I don't even know if they're here. So it was a big, brightly coloured yellow and something bill. So I rolled my bike back, smashed my pedal into my leg, which is now bleeding. <laughs> because I've rolled my socks down because they were itching <laughs> and then uh, that hit my leg I, I stepped out the way of, of the pedal and I dropped my bike uh, oh, this is concerning though <laughs> all I can see <laughs> is mountains everywhere and I can't see where the road goes or where it could go sign that sort of makes me happy viewpoint does mean you're normally near the top or something he's tying the, my bike to the back of his truck um, because of the detour, um, I had to head through the tunnel. I tried to avoid it, 
and bicycles aren't allowed through the tunnel because it's really long like the guy at the tunnel was really nice he gave me some water turned me around and he said flag a truck down so i'm just waving like, <laughs> like i've got something wrong with me to every truck that went past and that guy stopped picked me up took me all the way into medellin i was going to be really late and uh, dropped me what three kilometers away from my apartment uh, my airbnb so here's my road to the apartment my airbnb for the month great place to park my bike then we come in, uh, kitchen, now this place is, oh, listen, because I'm booking a month, it's less than $10, it's got everything, my kitchen extractor, so, pressure cooker and everything, I could make uh, even a juicer, uh, toasting machine, coffee machine, which will get pots of good use, all the stuff in there, sugar, a little sugar here. A uh, blender. Then everything else that I need. <laughs> Man, this couldn't be better. Uh, nice bathroom. It's got one of those dodgy water heaters, but... Uh, <laughs> Man, that, that's great for me. <laughs> um, and, and then there's the bedroom. And also they'll be washing for you as well, man. This is absolutely awesome. Okay. End the video chat. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me spewing shit, turn off now. Uh, it's uh, just going to be me talking till the end now. So... Loads of people say to me, take care, or oh, be safe, be careful, stop it, don't do it, don't say it to me, please. <laughs> if you want to live your life like that, do it, that's your choice. Uh, you know, uh, what's it called? I can't, I could have been a contender, who, who sang that now? Uh, and it's, there's, a, there's a line in that where it says, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. And I agree with that. It's starting to rain again now and I just put my phone in there. So, you know, this is an adventure. I want to do things. I want to take risks. I want to put myself out. I want to test myself. I want to do things. I don't want to be fucking taking care and I don't want to be being safe. I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to go and get a weekly shot from Tesco every week and then go to pub on a Saturday, watch some footy on a Sunday, have a Sunday meal and then go for two weeks holiday every year and do, 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 do work all the time. Uh, I don't want that. That's not for me. That's just like, what am I? It's a drone, that's a, a slave, that's a robot. You know? Uh, I'm going to ride. I ride when it rains. And so, yeah, that's all it is. We're slave to the system because we're told to do that. That's what we do. Uh, maybe go out for a meal now because that's a new thing that keeps us in check. So all of these things, and take care, be safe, be careful. All of those things keeps us from doing stuff that we should, that we don't do. Uh, I've noticed, I don't know if other people do it, uh, what my mum does it a lot with me is makes excuses for things for me. So, oh yeah, I'm feeling, oh well, you, be, you put your body through a lot, haven't you? I don't want to hear that. What I want is, you can do it. Go on, see how much you can do. How much can I push myself? How hard can I do that? You know, can I do it? Instead of making excuses so I don't have to do it. I do that myself at times and it's no help to you. It keeps you stuck, it keeps you in place and it keeps you enslaved. And if you agree or disagree with what I was saying about uh, being a product of aliens, they engineered us. That's what they engineered us for, to be slaves. And that's what happens. So, what well, you can start thinking for yourself and, and seeing that there's other things so there's different ways you don't have to conform to society 
We don't have to do what we're told to do. We don't have to do what everyone else does. Life becomes totally different and a lot freer, you know. And we're not taking care because we're just doing. So see how much in China, everyone's oh, it's dangerous, sir. It's dangerous for everything. They think everything's dangerous. Even just going to a different place in China, to Shanghai. Jesus, is heavy. So, they're all, oh, it's dangerous, dangerous. So, what? Come on! Being in China, seeing the extreme level of all this. That's what made me enable to question it more. So it's a lot more subtle in the West. We think we've got democracy up. The, the tricks are, are amazing what's been done. You know, because it's like where we think we live in a free world. I was listening to some Americans saying something about China and, and how free it is in America. America's not free at all. It's less free than the UK. You know, as I said, it's the worst kind because if you go and live abroad, you have to pay tax. So they haven't got freedom. And, they, and they'll say, oh, I've got freedom of speech. No, you haven't. Why do you say the N word? If you've got freedom of speech, you don't say the N word, you just say it. Because you can say what you want. You haven't got freedom of speech. No one's free. Because everyone conforms. And this is heavy. <laughs> this is the third time today I've got soaked. I can't pedal uphill anymore. You're gonna have to. You're lucky. Peace out. <laughs>